Castle Clash, Hirsch here. Um, guess what? I am on the home stretch for Emortep Challenge. That's what this video is. Just a super quick Emortep Challenge video. Less than 1,000 shards away is all I need. I'm almost there. Let's go take a look. I, I, I feel it coming. I really, really do. We need 7,500 shards. I'm at 6,782 shards, almost 6,800 shards. That is, I mean, we're about 700 or so shards away from Emortep. That's less than a day of raiding for me, so that means in less than 24 hours, I will have Emortep either through buying him with these shards or from... Uh, <laughs> Um, rolling him, which I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping I roll him. I really am. Um, before I buy him with shards, I'm going to drop a little bit of cash, do a rolling video, and if I get Emortep, then I'm going to, uh, use the shards to take my Pumpkin Duke to 8 of 9, which is, in my opinion, one of the most important things you can possibly do with that amount of shards, and is way more important than getting Emortep. So, uh, if I if I don't get Emortep from rolling then, though, I'm going to go ahead and buy him because that's what this challenge was all about, was getting Emortep. So there we go. Um, yeah, and it looks like I've got a Hereby Monsters I can do, and I've probably got a few dungeon runs I can do. Yeah, let's go do a couple dungeon fives. Um, we, can, we can do this in video and show you guys what I do when I'm farming all day long. I like this dungeon five skull one. For the most part, because I can just go like this, drop my guys, and then I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to set my phone down, and I'm going to walk away. See you guys? Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> but the point is, is I can just walk away. I can just drop my guys, and then toss my phone off to the side, and go about my business, be at work. I can, I can just be doing this while I'm at work or anything. It just takes 10 seconds to drop those guys and then disappear. And you can see Thunder God and Spirit Mage just clean house. Absolutely just destroy everything from long range. And so I don't have to worry about it. I don't need to use any magic. I don't have to watch it. Nothing. And every, you know, however many drop or however many dungeons, I get X amount of shards and that number just keeps going up and up and up and more and more and more shards for the competition. So here we go again. I'm just going to scroll down here so we can watch how quickly everybody down here just disappears. Hopefully it'll happen. Every once in a while that spirit mage or succubus will survive. See, poof, gone. Just gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Love it. Thunder God proc on them next, please. There it is. Poof. Gone. <laughs> it's like magic. I absolutely love it. Oh, man. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, I can sit here and do the 37 shard dungeon all day, but it costs gold, and I have to watch it, and I have to drop magic, and then I got to go buy magic, and then I got to farm more gold to keep going. Whereas this one, I can just do it. And, and yeah, it cuts my percentage down by half because I only get half the amount of shards I should be getting from the 37 shard dungeon. So I am taking a loss there, but the benefit is, is I can do more of these faster because I can just toss it to the side and keep going. So that means while I'm not paying attention or, or I don't have to pay attention. So during times where I can't do the 37 shard dungeon because I'm at work or I'm driving or I'm doing this or that, by the way, I don't recommend playing the dungeons while you're driving, although I've heard of people doing it. They're crazy. Um, so yeah, so I, I, it's just, it's just a helpful little trick I do, and uh, it keeps me uh, shard farming all day with no worries about the time or anything like that. And I can even do this with uh, without all these heroes. Like, I don't need Pumpkin Duke and Cupid in here, and I can still do it with just Thunder God and Spirit Mage and Druid. And as we saw in one of my past videos, I can do it with just Druid and Spirit Mage, although that's a little bit risky. And I was playing around the other day, and I tried it with just Druid and Thunder God, and that also worked. Oh, no, I'm going to lose Thunder God. I lost Thunder God. Oh, man. I never lose anybody in this. That was the fluke. Weird. Let's, let's. 
quick revive Thunder God and do that last one. Boom. Here we go. That's crazy. I haven't lost somebody in this dungeon in a long time. There we are. That ninja just barely hung in there. Had just enough health to get over there and proc on my Thunder God. So, got eaten up by that ninja. Hopefully ninja won't last long in this one. Oh, Thunder God procs on troops. Oh, it's getting scary. Spirit Mage going to come save the day. Nope, Thunder God. See it again, Thunder God. Oh, that succubus. We're good. We're good. Maybe. Yeah, we're good. Thunder God procs saves the day. Gotta love Thunder God. Anyways, guys. Um, that's it for today. Just a quick video. Hope you enjoy. Shard update. Everything's good. We'll see you soon. Bye.